All right. All right, everyone's still coming into the venue. Uh, we are about to get started. I'm incredibly excited to see all of these people in front of me. Uh, my name is Marisha. I'm one of the chairs and organizers of this conference, together with these people over here. Hi, everyone. I'm Sophie. Hi, I'm Nikki. And I'm Matthijs. I am incredibly excited for today and for the days to come. Um, but maybe let's first have a look at how we got here in the first place. Oh. I don't think we have the right slides here. <laughs> Great start to the conference. <laughs> All right, while we get the slides up, I want to tell you a little story of how we got here as Pi Data Amsterdam in 2023. It actually started in 2016, not that far away from here, also on this side of the A. We were in a small venue, almost like a boat, and we were hoping for 200 people there. Um, as you can see, we have moved to a little bit bigger venue at the moment. Um, we have a super nice venue here at the Kromout Hall. And uh, we're really excited for this conference to get started. Yes, so this is actually a picture of what the venue was before. And the 200 people that we managed to fit into one single room. But it was a success, so we decided to do it again in 2017, 18. 2019, we were also part of the organizing committee in 2019, and we had 30 talks, four tutorials, two keynotes, and over 300 attendees that we were very proud of. But today we're, big, we're back, and it's even bigger than ever. So if you look at the program for these days to come, we have 54 talks rather than the 30 we had before. We have not four tutorials, but seven tutorials, and instead of two keynotes, we have five keynotes. And we have a really nice list of extracurriculars, such as lightning talks, drinks by Kickstart AI, a pub quiz, sprints at Xevia Data hosted on Saturday, and even going back with the stroke baffles, we have a real stroke baffle cram this afternoon at the venue as well. But maybe the most important part is we have more people than ever as well. We have over 800 attendees, so that's a lot bigger than in 2019. And who are those attendees? Well, as you can see, the majority of the people are data scientists, but you have a very broad range of job titles. We see we have a lot of people in a lead role, some machine learning engineers, people from university and research as well. And they also have a lot of experience in data science and machine learning as well. But one of the things that I'm very interested in is to see uh, who has been to a PyData event before. Can you please raise your hand? Oh, I see a lot of hands raised already, also from all of the committee here, so that's nice. Um, who has never been to a PyData event before? Oh. Also still a lot of hands raised. So uh, because of that, I want to tell you a little bit about what this event is and the organization behind it. So I would like to invite Leah up on the stage. Thank you so much. It is a pleasure and an honor to be here. Um, my name is Leah Silen. I'm the executive director of NumFocus, and PyData is a NumFocus educational initiative. Um, our mission is to support open source scientific computing and data science projects and to host educational events so that we can make sure that community of users and the community, the contributor community, communities around those projects are successful and, and sustainable. So PyData is um, yeah, an incredible part of what we do, and it, this is just a great example of the communities that are around the world and the growth of those communities. I was actually on that boat um, and worked with it, the fantastic organizing team to put that together. It was right after the first meetup started. I believe that first meetup was held at Booking, and we went on the boat a few days later um, for that first Pi Data event. It was, it was fantastic. One of the rooms swayed a little bit, but that was okay. Everyone got used to that, and um, it, was, it was, like I said, it was um, a great event, and everyone wanted to move forward. And to see the growth of the community um, 
yeah, congratulations to your community and thank you for participating, sharing your knowledge, and um, yeah, just contributing as a whole. I want to definitely thank everyone who organized this. Um, events don't happen um, by one single person or even a small team. It takes a group, it takes a community, and um, this is amazing what we have, um, what you've done. And I want to give a special thank you to the co-organizers, Adyen, for their help and um, their partnership allowing PyData Amsterdam to increase in size and um, truly go, go big this year. This is amazing. We're excited about working with them and their commitment to open source and look forward to working with them in the future. I just want to tell you a little bit about NumFocus. There were quite a few hands that were raised that um, were first timers here, so you may or may not know about NumFocus. Um, our support to projects is, again, supporting the internal contributor community as well as the broader user community. And we do that by providing some essential program support and services to projects. We just had our summit for the first time in Amsterdam, um, just it wrapped up yesterday. It was a three-day summit. Um, there's quite a a handful of speakers that are here today are actually um, project maintainers and leaders that were at the summit. Um, please, if you're, if you're um, at a talk and it's led by a project maintainer or contributor, please reach out and talk to them. Um, we just had an incredible time learning, just trying to have a better understanding of project needs and how we can meet those needs. And, allowing projects time to collaborate and network together about um, you know, what their challenges are, what their successes are. We provide, um, addition, in addition to financial admin and services, a lot of legal support for projects, um, helping them with operational infrastructure, and just making sure that um, we're helping in any way we can for pro with project sustainability. We help with fundraising. Um, NumFocus has its own small development grant program, um, and we provide grants on an annual basis multiple times a year through that program. Um, also, again, helping with fundraising. So if you're employed somewhere, they're using NumFocus projects, um, please reach out, have them get in touch with us to learn about partnering with us and how they can play a, um, play a greater role in helping ensure the sustainability of the projects. And we also, I'd like to extend an invitation to all of you to get involved, to contribute to projects. We spend a lot of time working with projects on new contributor guidelines and being able to um, mark areas where new contributors can start, whether that's um, you know, on specific issues or documentation. So please um, think about getting involved if you're not contributing to an open source project that you're using already. Um, like I said, projects work really hard to make that, um, to make it have an easy entry point for new contributors. So um, we'll be here at the NumFocus table. We've got a few of our staff members here. We've got um, Jim, who is our um, events and resource director. We'd be happy to answer questions, um, any questions you have, as well as Samina and um, who's ever at the NumFocus table. So please um, come introduce yourselves. We'd love to meet you. And um, yeah, looking forward to a fantastic event. Thanks for being here and for your participation. <laughs> Thank you, Leah. Thanks so much. Uh, next slide, next slide. Works. OK, welcome, everyone, from me as well. Um, I'm continuing with thank you notes. So the thank you to Adyan has been mentioned as a co-organizer. But there is more. Um, there's three particular categories that I would like to thank, starting with the sponsors in the money green. Um, specifically thanking our diamond sponsor, Dexter, who's been involved with PyData for the first time. So shout out to their, to their trust in that. 
Uh, they have a really big booth, so please hop by, check out the jobs that they have on our job board online. Or um, tomorrow, end of morning, they have a talk on this main stage if you want to find out more about what they're working on. Of course, also our platinum sponsors, Bubble Hopswork and Xebia Data. Shout out to them as well. Um, and the gold sponsors and the silver sponsors that I will spare you listing. Um, but you will find them around in a venue. Um, I think the drinks were already mentioned, hosted by Kickstart AI, another nice data community. Uh, make sure to sign up or check the link because we're full now. Um, but if people deregister, spots will open up. So this is also a call to action. If you don't come, please deregister. Um, open Source Sprint hosts Xabia. We have these really nice projects that you can mark, your, that you can mark with your name. Uh, please sign up as well. There's QR codes around the venue that you can scan. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Xavier. Then as a second category, speakers. We wouldn't be able to do it without speakers. We had an overwhelming amount of proposals this year, over 250 that we had to go through. And we selected the best uh, and most diverse set of talks for you. So um, yeah, thank you for taking the time to prepare two speakers. And then the golden pass for the organizing committee. We already got a nice thank you from Leah, but yeah, I wanted to stress this is all volunteer based. So shout out to all our volunteers here around. We have more than 35 of them today, all wearing the red, so very recognizable. Um, but also the organizing committee, who is more than just the four of us, but some of us here on the front row. Maybe make yourself Hi. known to the audience. And a shameless moment of self-promotion. This is us, a bit student-like, but really enjoying preparing this event for you today. Uh, and if you feel like you also want to contribute to something like this, come and talk to us. We're very open to that. Um, and if you can't get enough of all the content that you will see throughout these three days, follow us on Meetup, because we also host monthly meetups. Now over to the practicalities. Yes, so hello, everyone. Um, last thing before the keynotes. So over here, I have the floor plan. Um, as you can see, there are three uh, talk rooms. Fu, that's the one main stage over here. We have bar, not to confuse with the real bar. <laughs> and we have quicks, um, which is uh, the upstairs room over there. You can take the stairs in the back. Then we also have the tutorial room, Hello World. The stairs are over there. So it's also an upstairs room. And then you've probably already all seen it, the registration desk just near the entrance. So some uh, practicalities. Um, if you have accessibility needs, please make yourself known at the registration desk. Also, if you're in need of first aid, um, go to the registration desk. And if you find something, if you lost something, also, yeah, you get the gist now, go to the registration desk. There will always be someone present. Some of the house rules. Um, we have a photographer being here all day. If you don't want to have a picture taken, you can uh, change your lanyard for a red one. You can do that at the registration desk. <laughs> Then the wardrobe, we have people there, but it's at your own risk. Smoking is not allowed inside the building, and uh, so please go on the side of the building. And when there's a talk at the main stage, please be quiet. We will also put quiet signs when there's a, a session going on here. And if a room is full, uh, full is full. The volunteers will put the full room. Please don't enter. We also have uh, Wi-Fi. The password is Awesome Conference. Um, the password is also on the back of your card. We also have some super nice goodies. Um, you can pick up the goodies after lunch today. We have this um, nice tote bag and the nice T-shirt. Then also importantly, the code of conduct. So um, these are 
Our rules always be kind to others, do not insult, behave professionally, and remember that harassment and sexist, racist, or exclusionary jokes are not appropriate or tolerated. If there's a code of conduct violation, please make yourself known to a volunteer or at the registration desk. Um, these things will go directly to the code of conduct team. If you want to read the full code of conduct, please scan the code. There are also QR codes throughout the venue. Then one of my favorite parts, the lightning talks. Lightning talks are here today at 4.30. In case you don't know what a lightning talk is, it's your chance to shine. It's, you can be on stage even though you haven't, um, if you're not a speaker, and for five minutes do a talk. You can sign up on a flip chart at the non-focus booth. And it's going to be really fun, so I would also really encourage you to come and see the lightning talks. We also have a Slack. Um, QR cards are throughout the venue. You can try to scan this one. Here you can uh, talk to each other, talk to speakers. If you have questions after you've seen the talk, you want to meet someone, then uh, please connect to each other on Slack. And then... And then with all the practicalities actually out of the way, we can, can really get this conference started. And it's my great pleasure to, uh, to welcome to the stage Vicky Boykes. Uh, we actually already asked her back in 2020 for the conference, but unfortunately couldn't make it then. But she's here now. Um, you might know her from her awesome blog uh, with, with great articles like Data Science is Different Now, or as one of the organizers of the very successful online Norm Core ML conference, NormConf. Um, or just general uh, posting on, on Twitter. Please welcome to the stage, Vicky Boykes.